Incidents like this have plagued the nurses' home on an almost weekly basis since 2015. The sewage water flows into three of six nurses' quarters. It also affects the clinic's maternity ward and kitchen where meals for patients are prepared daily. Tulonga Kahima, an enrolled nurse, says they are now living in fear that the recurring overflow of the sewer water will lead to an outbreak of hepatitis and other contagious waterborne diseases. The sewage used to start any time, you cannot say day or night. But it's not only us who are affected, even the clinic, it might be affected some of the times. So that smell cannot keep you, either you are eating, either you are sleeping, cannot keep you eating or what. Either, like there is a time, I used to develop nausea, I used to have epigastric pain, I used to stay even, I was eating, then I leave my food, then I have to stay a day or so with that thing here. Otavi Municipality Chief Executive Officer Moses Machai says council is aware of the sewer overflow. Machai blamed the sewer overflow on old pump stations that need repair and the town's growing population. Soon, the council's health department will undertake public and patient sensitization on how to dispose waste materials and products. And um, they were built for a capacity of a smaller, of a smaller population. And thus, with the current inflow that is actually going in now, it has become, you know, quite busy. And um, with that, it, 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 it's causing some technical problems. Number one, the first problem that we've also, we've, we've, we've actually figured out is that uh, sometimes when the, when the sewer is, is, is actually being pumped, you realize that also people put in, you know, um, alien things um, within the, uh, the, the toilets or they use alien things to use in the toilets. Um, some of this may cause blockages. Faith Sankwasam, NBC News, Ochiwarong.